all major roads coming into Kirbyville are shut down because of that flooding. Jasper County Public Information Officer Carly Cherry is joining us now on the phone. And Carly, I appreciate you taking a moment just to kind of fill us in on what's happening in your community. Can you paint a picture of what you've been dealing with? We're seeing some of the photos on the screen coming out of Jasper, uh, down trees, maybe some down power lines, and of course the flooding we mentioned. Yes, we got um, several inches of rain throughout the county. Um, kind of our midline running uh, north to south on the county does have flooding, but obviously our major hot spot right now is going to be the six, uh, city of Kirbyville. Uh, we're currently conducting extrications um, and evacuations by boat and high water vehicles throughout the city of Kirbyville um, and that immediate surrounding area. We also have some flooding up on the north end of the county in Beach Grove area. Um, no rescues that I'm aware of at this time, um, but we're watching those dams and we're watching, you know, the lakes area for flooding as, as the runoff happens. So um, several resources have come in uh, and we're working with our emergency management team and our county judge, um, just keeping those people safe. And Carly, and Carly, this was a very dangerous situation that happened during the overnight hours. I'm wondering, are you from Jasper County originally? And, and have you ever seen something like this in Jasper County before? So, yes, ma'am. I am from South Jasper County, born and raised. Um, I've been here my whole life. And we've had some, some flooding issues, especially with Hurricane Harvey. Uh, we dealt with some major flooding issues on the south end of the county for that. Um, and so it is something that we have dealt with before, but it's not a regular occurrence here. It is so wild. You know, one of the things we were looking at was actually we spoke to a mayor just to the south of where you are out of Kirbyville. Um, this is an area that has received over a foot of rain. A foot of rain is a lot. And it's not just been today. It's been repeated rounds of rain for you guys. As you continue to navigate even the situation today, um, what is, I guess, the, the, the plan and what is the messaging you want people to know? I know the rain has slowed down and, and it looks like you guys are, are clear of any more rain. I think the rest of it will stay a little bit further to the north of you. But the messaging as we continue in through the day, uh, what you need the community to know. So first and foremost, if you don't have to be on the road, just stay home. Um, we are working around the clock to get people out who are taking on water in their homes and who we're driving on the road and got caught in it, and now they're caught in their vehicles. So um, just not to inundate those emergency response with uh, more trouble if we don't have to. So stay home. If you're high and dry, just stay there. Let the rain slow down. Um, although the rain is subsiding here, um, we're going to have more flooding issues um, as the runoff continues south in the county. And, and Carly, um also, you know what, I had a question and I lost my thought because I was looking at the video. Oh, we were wondering really quick, it's pretty flat there, right? I thought I had heard from one of the volunteer departments that maybe there were some hills in some areas, but overall topography, rather flat. Yeah, it, we don't have any major hills or anything. Well, okay. We have some, but um, it is rather flat. We have a lot of sloughs and creeks um, in the area, obviously the lakes area as well, um, and everything kind of runs south. So okay. um, Kirbyville is, is on the the southern end of our county, and so that water's just going to continue to run off south. Um, and so we just need people to stay off the roadways and let emergency responders do what we need to do um, to keep everybody safe and get everybody um you know, figure everything out. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are doing an incredible job. Uh, and we know a lot of your folks are volunteers. So getting out there in their community and helping out more than likely when they're dealing with it themselves. Uh, Carly Cherry, PIO for the Jasper County Sheriff's Office. Appreciate your time. Hey, best of luck and stay safe today.